Hey guys, Dylan Schumacher, Citadel Defense, and today we're going to talk about the Quad Zip from 511 Tactical. Uh, I like this bag, so let's just start there. There are a couple things that I don't like as much, but I like this bag. I've honed it for six months, maybe nine months, something like that, and have used it on a variety of trips, uh, both going through the airport and just road trips, um, taking it hiking and it's it's served well so I would definitely recommend it at the end of the day so features of the bag first of all this is not like a hard-sided solid construction bag it's kind of more like a school bag that you probably grew up with right like a Jan Sport and I don't mean that to insult the bag to say that it's low quality or anything I'm just saying it doesn't have any form right like it's, it's there's no stiffness to it unlike a rush pack or something like that which can have that stiffer kind of thousand D nylon to it where it's going to hold its form a little bit better. This will not. Okay, this is this is, will not hold its form, and that's why I bought it. Uh, I did not want a stiff pack when I bought this one. I wanted it to just kind of be more loosey goosey, and and that's really one of the features that I think is a pro for this pack. So they give you feel the molly here. You can put whatever you want on there. The bottom uh, row is Velcro. They have this little tiny little Velcro patch up here that you can you know stick cool. Um, Velcro patches on it, whatever. This pouch here, so this is a admin pouch. I'm not sure if I'm able to show this to you here, but basically uh, it's got a couple things for a pen in there. It's got one key fob, just one key fob, and some business card holder, just a general admin pouch. If you've had a 511 pack in the past, you know how they lay out their admin pouches. This one is not that big, right? So it only goes to about here, okay? So about, about almost up to my wrist. Um, tinier pouch. I do like that it is, uh, I'm not sure what the right word is here, but it's inset into the pack, right? It doesn't like exist on top of the pack, but it, it's inset. So I really gusseted maybe is the best word there. I really like that. That's a cool feature. Gives it a clean front. Top pouch here. This is just a simple little dump pouch. Nothing uh, special about that. I've thrown some mints in there or whatever. I enjoy that. So the, here's the big deal about the quad zip, okay? And the reason they, it got its name is because they have four zippers on this pack, okay? So you can zip it from the top, like a normal like a normal pack. Then you have these other zippers on the side, so that I could zip open the side and still access the main compartment. The reason is so that when you're wearing it, you can just sling it over your shoulder and unzip and access something from the side. So that's, that's definitely an option for you. I honestly don't use that feature that much. Uh, I just really use it like a normal backpack. It has four compression straps on the sides here so that you can really tighten it down. Those are very useful. I've used those a lot. Uh, I, I enjoy those. Here's the love-hate relationship I have with the, the cut of the pack is that you can zip this top part down really easily and it, it opens up, it sits up great and I can easily access the pack or access, access this top mesh pouch here. The thing I don't like is that when you're zipping it up, it'll often get hung up on the corner, that actually went much smoother than it normally does, but it'll usually get hung up on the corner right here. And when I try to start zipping up, it won't it won't zip over. Uh, so I have to fight with it a bit to, to get it to round these corners. Again, uh, it's a small thing, it's minorly annoying, but I, at the same time, I do like the feature that I can just zip open the top part here and then access the whole, the whole pack. It will all the way down and totally fold open, which is great. I still have some things in here from my last trip. Set all that to the side. So uh, when it opens up, it will go pretty deep here, okay? So it's decently deep. This pouch right here is again just another mesh pouch to uh, put something in that you want to see or have easy access to. It does have a laptop kind of holder thing back here. So I could put my laptop in there if you wanted to kind of eat to see it. Again, there's plenty of space in here for anything you'd want to eat to see. There is this small little pouch over here that's kind of hidden. So you can put like a water bottle or something in there. They do not have one on this side. Just one on that side. Not sure what that's about. It does not have like a fancy, does not have like a fancy, uh, what's the word I'm looking for here? Sunglasses case on top. A lot of 511 packs, you know, they have that little zip felt line pouch right here. This one does not have it. Not a big deal. I've never missed it. We do have right here 
So this will come open and you have a retainer for a water bladder. So you can put a water bladder in here, which is outside the pack, right? Which is nice. And this is also their concealed carry portion of the pack. So there is a Velcro, I'm not sure if I'm able to show it to you. You might be able to see it right here. This is Velcro line. So you could put like a firearm down here. The thing I don't like about that is this pouch is not enclosed, right? So all it does is Velcro right here at the top. That's it, that's the only Velcro. And then on the sides, it's open. So I don't know how it feels about storing a firearm in there. I just, I don't like that, but it does have that option if you so choose. The back of the pack here, it has a nice center channel cut out. This is super comfortable. I've, like I said, I've worn this on hikes. I had a great time with it. Uh, it's comfortable, okay, I, I, I enjoy it. And this part does have like a stiffener. So there's some kind of plastic insert in here to give it a little bit of rigidity, uh, kind of an inter internal frame to support your, the weight. So that's comfortable. The shoulder straps themselves, again, they have that mesh lining there, so that's comfortable. It does not have the traditional 511 yoke system, if you're familiar with that on like the Rush Packs or something like that. These are really just sewn in separate. Again, super comfortable. Uh, I like the yoke system a lot, but but this works. It really works well for this pack. You have different tracks here to move up and down, to move the sternum strap up and down if you desire. You got kind of a guide loop here to feed through uh, anything from your water bladder or anything like that if you want to attach a D ring. It does have a quick disconnect, so you could dump the pack if you needed to or wanted to. And that is about it. That's the 511 quad zip pack. Overall, I recommend it, especially if you're in the market just for kind of an everyday pack or something you'd want to be able to take on a trip or hiking or whatever. I'd say light hiking, you know, it's not like a multi-day intense pack by any means. But for what it is and what I think it sets out to be, just kind of a, a good around town EDC pack that's not super rigid or super tactical, I enjoy it. I would recommend it to you. I think I ended up getting this one on sale for circa 40 bucks. I think normally they go for about $90, so you can make your own judgments on that. For the $40 I paid for it, I'm extremely happy. Till then, do brave deeds and endure.